Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So I got asked the other day, why do you use the 5D Mark II? There's so many other cameras around, and yet I still use the 5D Mark II. So, why don't I explain to you why, but first, I need to go to London. So let's go. Before I tell you actually, I'm going to go get some coffee from Starbucks. That's better. Yes, it is a pumpkin. I need to move this back, you know, this isn't... This lens isn't really wide enough for this shot. So, why am I using it? I mean... Ugh. It was made in, what, 2008? And other cameras have come out since. Such as in my other review of this camera. You know, newer, better cameras. Such as the R5. Or the R6, or the Nikon Z range, or only a sevens but what you've got to realize is the fact that the 5d mark ii even in 2020 is really really good except for this dangly strap this actually really annoys me i don't even know why i put it on there the 5d mark ii came out as i said in 2008 in a time when digital slrs were still kind of a new thing especially to have them kind of features at the time the 5D Mark II was equivalent to the current R5. So bearing that in mind, yes, this doesn't have 4K, 120 frames per second, which I do wish it had. It does have a recording cap, so you only get about half an hour or four gigabytes worth of recording time in video mode. So yes, it has its problems. But, bearing in mind that you can pick this body up and this lens for about 800 quid, that is really not bad. In some places it's cheaper, all depending on the body condition, but you really get what you pay for. You know, even now, this 5D is a bargain. You've got the standard LPE6 batteries, which are widely used. You've got CF cards, which again, are still being used today. You've got 100% accurate viewfinder, a full frame 21 megapixel sensor, and at the time of its release, epic low light abilities. Does it still have them epic low light abilities? Kind of. Not as good as the cameras today though. So and then the thing that you actually really have to think about is... Well yes, newer cameras will be a lot better. You get the 4K, you get IBIS and other stuff, but can you justify the cost? Because, for an example, if I remember correctly, which I think I am, the R5 is about three grand here in the UK. So, can you justify spending three grand on a new body? And then more on lenses. And well, yes, they are really, really nice lenses. See, now this is why you always carry on a spare battery. This battery just died on me. Whilst I was talking. So yeah, can you justify the cost of it? 
because, well, yes, the Canon R5 has some nice lenses. EF lenses, well, not as expensive, are still probably better for the time being. So what you've got to remember is the fact that because EF lenses have been around for God knows how many years, the second-hand market is saturated with EF and EFS lenses. So there'll always be a good market at a cheap and reasonable price for a good lens. So, as I said, my Canon 24-105 that I'm carrying £400. The RF version, I'm pretty sure that's about seven or £800. Could be wrong. To be fair, you have to actually figure out what you want in a camera body and what you need. Do you even need full frame? Do you need to be able to record 8K or continue with 4K? Or are you just happy with a crop sensor? You have to figure out what you need in your camera. Although, a little bit of a side note, um, I came to central London to film exactly what you're watching. And um, I kind of strayed from the path. And now, and now I'm a little bit lost. Like, genuinely, I have no idea where I even am. Like, at all. I'm in some state or something. And it is now raining. So I might have to put this one away. Because I'm like the 5D. This isn't weather sealed. That's another plus of it. It does have a weather sealed body. So, if you do want to use it in, well, any weather, you can, you have that opportunity to be able to go out into, <coughs> into the rain and shoot video, photos, especially if you get the included kit lens, like I've got, 24 to 105. It's a kit lens, great lens. I've done a review on it, it's on my channel, go and have a look. but they are both weather sealed. Oh, squirrel. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just, no, it's not even gonna focus. I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, they are both weather sealed. So which means that you haven't got to worry about going out in the rain or your camera getting wet, like I do with this one. There's no one around that off for a minute. So, why aren't you buying the 5D Mark II? You've got Canon colours. You'll have an all day battery life, basically. An all day battery life. The great lenses, really nice lenses. 70-200 F2. Hoo -hoo -hoo. So I'm still trying to find my way out of here. There are some really nice houses just there, but they're really expensive. Or any 50 mil, 1.8, 1.4, or 1.2, or the legendary F1. I've never seen it or used it. I've seen it around on the internet, but that is it. Oh, the F1. That low light will be epic, just epic. And again, they'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than buying a brand new camera. So, what are you waiting for? Go and buy the 5D Mark II and enjoy it. And now, I need to try and find my way home. Although I might go and get some lunch first. I've already had a coffee, but I need some lunch. 
anyway guys <laughs> I'm gonna go get some lunch and then head home so I'll see you see you in the next video